So, you're thinking about retiring in the Philippines. Uh, well, in this video, you will learn uh, all about how much it costs, um, what your expenses are likely to be, and um, visa requirements. That's something, if you're planning to retire there, uh, you have to think about. Um, for me, myself, if this is your first time on this channel, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Craig, I'm from Scotland in the UK, and I'm married to a Filipina. Uh, I have been since 2015, so eight years already. Uh, I'm going to give you um, information about food, entertainment, driving, and how much will you pay uh, for your accommodation. So let's get right into the video. So just some background information. Uh, I met my wife uh, back in 2011, I think it was. Uh, but we didn't meet in the Philippines. We met in Malaysia. She was working in Malaysia, I was there for about eight years in total and we met uh, not long after I um, had been working there for about six months I think. And uh, she, has, she had been working on one of the uh, island resorts and we met when she was working in the restaurant in KL uh, during the monsoon, the monsoon season. So what happens is the resort closes uh, for the, um, the the monsoon season and the girls that were working there all come back to KL. So that's how we met and then we actually got married in uh, Malaysia as well. So we didn't get married in the Philippines. I don't know um, how that would have gone because she's Catholic and Protestant or Presbyterian. Um, but anyway, we managed to avoid that problem. Uh, so we got married in uh, Malaysia back in 2015. And we now have a house uh, in the Philippines. Now, if you're going over there um, or planning to retire there, you'll probably, um, maybe, you know, probably be thinking about renting first. Uh, if you're looking to rent, again, it depends on where you want to live. Obviously, if, you, if you're planning to go to Manila, um, it's going to be more expensive than the province. So we, we actually live in Bicol and uh, the view is just unbelievable. You know, the, the view of a Mayon volcano in Bicol, uh, we, we built an, an extension, a roof extension, so we went up. And the view from the roof deck is spectacular. You never get sick of looking at it, you know. There's some beautiful scenery in the Philippines and, um, you know, to have that on your doorstep, um, it's just brilliant. So, a wee bit about myself. Uh, I'm planning to retire, um, actually, in... Uh, July 2024, so I've got six more months. I'm actually in the Middle East working at the moment. Um, I'm going back to the Philippines on uh, the 19th of December, so I don't know if you're watching this video um, after 19th of December, I'm in the Philippines. But I'm going back there for a month, uh, and then I'm coming back to tie up all the loose ends uh, in the Middle East, and then that'll be me. Fully retired. Uh, so, what we did was we, we didn't build a house, we bought one um, from a developer. Now, it wasn't fully built, um, and this is something that if you're planning to, to buy a house in the Philippines, what you can do is you can put down like a down payment. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot, you know hundred dollars I'll do it. Um, you can put down a down payment and then when they come round to start actually building it, 
they'll ask for some money up front. Now, there's no um, fixed amount here. Generally, they're, they're pretty flexible, but we ended up paying the house in instalments. So like, we, we, we put some money up front first, and then another, you know, three or four months down the line, they asked for some more money. So then uh, we paid more money. Um, and then eventually, the final payment um, was when the house was complete. Um, how much did the house cost? The price, it was fully furnished, so we didn't have an option. The price was, uh, how much was it now? Four million pesos. Um, it was about 60,000 UK pounds. So I don't know what that is in dollars these days. Um, high 60s maybe. And two bedroom. Uh, and then I spent another, I think it was about nine or ten thousand dollars on the roof extension. So we built like a um, a whole roof structure with another roof, uh, and then we've got windows all the way around, but it's open at the front, and it looks right out onto the volcano. Um, we've got a stair coming from one of the bedrooms up onto the roof. And this is where we do all the laundry and everything. Uh, we have barbecue area. Um, so, in addition, what I wanted to do before I took the took the plunge into full time retirement was, I wanted to install solar panels. So now that we've got the roof, the roof's all finished, we put solar panels up on the top. I think that was about five thousand um, pounds. It was three hundred and. 30,000 pesos and what that's done is effectively reduced our electric bill. So let's talk about finances first. I'll, I'll tell you how much you'll need. It depends on your lifestyle of course but to give you an idea. If you're looking to rent anything between three to four hundred uh, US dollars will get you somewhere. You may want to spend less or more it depends what you want, what, what sort of standard you want. It also depends which area you're in. Um, our electric bill, before we got the solar panels, uh, every month was, on average, probably around six or 7,000 pesos. Now, we've got aircon in every room. Um, so, you know, we're not shy of using the aircon, but we we try to control it as much as possible. Since we got the solar panels installed, I think the average now is maybe around two thousand. So we've saved probably you know seven or six, five or six thousand pesos a month. Uh, we're saving with the solar panels. Now that varies, of course, but it gives you an idea. Internet. Um, internet is not cheap uh, compared to other countries. Um, I think we are paying around $60 a month, but I wanted high speed and I wanted unlimited um, internet because I do a lot of uh, streaming for live TV. I like to see what I want to see, you know. Um, so, you know, if you're an expat in the Philippines, maybe you, you don't know how to, to watch what you want, um, you can contact me on Instagram and I'll give you uh, some ideas. <coughs> uh, now, what else was there? Um, yeah, so that was the um, internet costs. Now, we have a son uh, who is uh, nine years old. So we pay for him to go to a school. Uh, so that's probably our biggest um, expenditure. And we're paying around 12,000 pesos a month. So to give you an idea of my situation and maybe how you can compare it to yours, um, or I'll give you an idea of how much it would, it would cost you, our outgoings is 25,000 pesos a month. Now, when I say outgoings, that's not including food. 
That's internet, electric, school fees, gas and water, negligible. Um, they're not, it's, it's, gas and electric are, uh, they cost nothing. Um, we've got like a, a gas uh, canister and it just lasts forever, you know, it doesn't cost a lot. So that's our outgoing is 25,000 a month. Now, what's, what's our budget? Well, we're looking at anything between 13 to 1500 US a month. That's including the outgoing is 25,000 pesos. That's including food. Uh, we don't, <laughs> we don't uh, go to nightclubs or anything like that. Um, I'm, I'm long past that. Plus we've got the, the boy, you know, so obviously um, we don't live a, what I would call a quiet life. Uh, whenever we're out, out and about, we'll have lunch outside. Um, well, maybe we'll get food delivered sometimes. Um, so, I mean, it really depends on, on where you are um, and what, what your lifestyle is. Uh, anytime I want to, to have a drink, I generally drink wine. Uh, I'll buy it in the supermarket and sit up on the roof and look at the volcano. And uh, until it gets dark and I can't see it, of course. Um, it was actually, uh, there was an, um, a, an eruption um, last year when I was there. And it was quite spectacular. It went on for months. Uh, but it wasn't like major, um, it was just very slow. You could see the lava coming down um, all the time, you know. Um, food and beverage. Now, <laughs> I like Asian food because I've, I've been in Asia a long time. I was in Indonesia, um, Malaysia, Singapore. Um, and the Philippines, so I'm used to Asian food. Rice is one of their staples. Um, a lot of veggie. Uh, they like the vegetables. And pork, uh, if you like pork. Um, the Philippines is the place to be, trust me, if you like pork. Um, I wouldn't call it spicy food, but I do, I do like spicy food, but you can get spicy. It just depends where you are. Uh, Bicol Express is one of my favourites and they make it with um, fresh coconut and they put lots of chilies. Um, as far as the beverage goes, the wine isn't too expensive. Um, you can pick up a bottle for, you know, 350 pesos. It's not going to be the best wine you've ever tried. But anything, you know, 400 pesos will be enough and it's uh, drinkable. What I would say, yeah. Um, beer, Ooh, I don't know how much the the beer is now. I think when I was there um, last time, it was about eighty five pesos for a bottle. Uh, depends what you buy. Red, you've got Red Horse, um, you've got San Miguel. You know, it just depends what you what you're drinking and where you're where you are as well. So. Entertainment, um, again, if you're in Manila, you know, you've got it all around you. Um, but if you're in the province, like me, um, you will struggle to find any kind of uh, bar or nightclub, um, depending on where you are. I mean, and, and where we are in Bicol, um, we're in, the region is actually called Albay. So, <laughs> there probably is one or two bars, but not, not the, uh, I would call a typical, typical bar. Um, but if you go to somewhere like uh, Cebu, now, there's a lot of expats in the Philippines, um, and the number of retired foreigners living in the Philippines is about 70,000, I think, and half of them are American. 
Um, and most of them are probably in Cebu. Now Cebu, um, you've got Dumaguete around there, so this is where they all tend to live. I'm not, I'm not saying all, but majority. Um, you'll find uh, YouTube videos uh, proclaiming this. It depends what you want, you know. Um, as far as driving goes in the Philippines, it's easy. Uh, I've driven in countries a lot worse than the Philippines. Um, here in the Middle East, probably the worst I've ever seen for driving. Um, they're rude. Um, they're not uh, courteous at all. Um, but in the Philippines, everyone just seems to go with the flow. I've driven in the Philippines many times. Um, but we, we don't own a car. Anytime I want to have a car, I'll just rent one. Um, we we have bike, a bike, so we've got a wee Yamaha. It's a 125, and it's perfect for getting around. Um, I don't need a car. The only problem is when it rains, of course. Um, but eventually, maybe one day, we'll get a car. Or we'll just get another bike and have two bikes. <laughs> now, um, as far as visas go, if you're married to a Filipina, you can get a spousal visa. Um, if you're not married uh, and you want to just go there and maybe retire, then there are ways and means. Now, you can get, if you're planning to retire there, you can get, um, what's it called? Let me just check my phone again. I think it's called an S, um, SRRV, is it? Yes, SRRV uh, visa. Now, there are some uh, limitations with that um, because it depends on your age. If you're 50 or over, um, then I think it's a $20,000 um, deposit you need to, to put in, like a bond. If you're 35 to 49, that bond has to be 50,000 US. Um, and then you need to have, um, I think it's, uh, you need to have $800 a month income. Um, if you're single, just quick, quickly checking here, yeah. So the, the pension has to be $800 um, and it's a $10,000, sorry. That's if you receive a pension. If you don't receive a pension, you need to put the bond 20000 and um, the bond for someone that has a pension is $10,000. So there are ways and means to get that visa and it's not expensive. Um, I would say the Philippines has changed my life. Uh, I don't even travel back to the UK much these days. You know, I was seven years away from the UK and I went back um, a few years ago and uh, it was during the winter and it was freezing, absolute Baltic. Um, you know, it's not, it's not tropical, uh, but the Philippines is great. You'll find there's lots of resorts all over the place. So you can go somewhere and you can, even like a swimming pool, you can go there and you just pay them buttons to use the pool for a day. Um, you'll find resorts all over the Philippines. I mean, where we are, we've got some in Sorsagon, um, which are really nice. Um, they've got everything. They've got restaurants, swimming pools. Um, it's just a fantastic uh, place to be. So if this is your first time on my channel, and uh, you're interested in seeing more about the Philippines. Uh, I'll be there for a month, uh, leaving here on the 19th of December, and I'm going to be uploading a lot of uh, Filipino content, let's call it. Um, it could be anything from videos like this with more information, or it'll be what we're doing in our daily life. Um, I'll show you any special attractions things like that. So if you want to see something like that, um, you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and you'll be notified uh, when I upload um, any videos. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, 
you can um, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'm not a big user of Instagram, but if you send me a message through that, uh, I will receive the message and I'll reply. So that's it for this video, I think. Um, uh, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Apparently, it helps with the YouTube uh, algorithm. Thanks for watching.